The Teachings of the Church and the True Jesus? A. Muhammad The figure of Jesus is portrayed in different lights among the main ideologies in the world today. The three main portrayals of Jesus are 1. The portrayal of Jesus as a third of the Trinity in the form of God the Son, God incarnate, God on earth, Son of God, and God in the flesh. This is the portrayal of Jesus according to the ideology promoted in all churches around the world today, apart from some minorities among the Restoration Movement. 2. The portrayal of Jesus as the prophet of God who delivered the word of God. This is the portrayal of Jesus expressed in the Quran. 3. The portrayal of Jesus as a false prophet who was not the awaited Messiah who was prophesied in the Torah, and who is still to come. This is the portrayal of Jesus that is adopted by the body of the Jewish faith. The purpose of this article is to address the following questions. 1. Is the portrayal of Jesus by the Church a true representation of Jesus in the Bible? 2. How much harmony is there between the Quranic view of Jesus with that of the New Testament? 3. Then ultimately, is it the Church or the Quran that portrays a more accurate picture of Jesus? The above questions may appear meaningless at first since many will jump to proclaim that the Church teaches nothing other than the Jesus of the Bible, but do they? This is what this article aims to establish. The following table lists the major similarities between the Biblical Jesus and the Quranic Jesus. 1. Born of a virgin named Mary New Testament God sent the angel Gabriel to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you are to call him Jesus. Luke 1 verses 26-31 Quran 1916 and mention in the book Mary and mention, O messenger, in the book revealed to you the story of Mary, peace be upon her, when she moved away from her family and stayed separately in a place to their east. Miriam, 16 1920 she said, How can I have a boy when no man has touched me nor have I been unchaste? Mary said surprisingly, How can I have a child when neither a husband nor anyone else has come near me nor am I an adulteress that I should have a child? Miriam, 20. 2. Mary was favored and blessed by God from among all women. And he came to her and said, Greetings, O favored one, the Lord is with you. Luke 1 verse 28. And she exclaimed with a loud cry, Blessed are you among women. Luke 1 verse 42. Quran. 342. The angel said, O Mary, God has chosen you and purified you, and he has chosen you over the women of all the people. Remember, O Messenger, when the angel said to Mary, Peace be upon her Allah has chosen you because of the praiseworthy qualities you have. He has purified you from all defects, and chosen you over all the other women of your time. Ali Imran 42 Three birth of Jesus foretold to Mary by the angels. New Testament God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee to a virgin. The virgin's name was Mary. You will conceive and give birth to a son and you are to call him Jesus. Luke 1 verses 26-34 Quran 345 The angel said, O Mary, God gives you news of a word from him whose name is the Messiah, Jesus the Son of Mary, distinguished in this world and in the hereafter, and among those brought near. Remember, O messenger, when the angel said, O Mary, Allah gives you good news of a child who will be created without a father. Merely by a word from Allah, such as be, and he will become a child by Allah's will. The name of this child will be the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary. He will have a high rank in this word and the afterlife and he will be one of those who are made close to Allah. Ali Imran 45 For Jesus sent by God That I have not come on my own, God sent me. John 8 verse 42 5. Quran after the prophets of the Israelites. 546. And we sent, following in their footsteps, Jesus, the son of Mary. After the prophets of the Israelites, I sent Jesus, son of Mary, as a believer in the Torah, giving judgment in accordance with it. I also gave him the gospel that contained guidance to the truth and evidences to remove doubts and solve difficult cases of rulings. It corresponded to the Torah that came before it, except in a few rulings that it replaced. I made the gospel a guide and a means to restrain people from doing that which was prohibited. 
Almeida 46. 5. Jesus supported by the Holy Spirit. New Testament. God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power. Acts 10 verse 38. Quran. 2 colon 253. We gave Jesus, son of Mary, the clear proofs and supported him with the Holy Ru, Holy Spirit. Allah favored some of those messengers mentioned to you over others with respect to their revelation, followers and ranks. Some of them Allah spoke to, such as Moses, and others he granted a high rank. Such as Muhammad peace be upon him who was sent to the entire humankind as the last of the prophets, and whose nation was preferred over all other communities. Allah gave Jesus, son of Mary, clear miracles confirming his prophethood, such as bringing the dead to life and curing the leper and the blind, and supported him with the angel Gabriel to give him strength in fulfilling Allah's instruction. If Allah had willed, those that came after the messengers would not have fought amongst themselves after having received clear signs, but they disagreed and were divided. Some of them had faith in Allah, whilst others did not. If Allah had willed, they would not have fought with each other, but Allah does as he wills. He guides whomever he wills to faith through his mercy and grace, and he does not guide whomever he wishes by his justice and wisdom. Al-Baqarah, 253 6. Jesus prostrated and worshipped God New Testament He, Jesus, fell with his face to the ground and prayed. Matthew 26 verse 39 Quran 5 hours 72 minutes, the Messiah said, O children of Israel, you shall worship God, my Lord and your Lord. The Christians who say that Allah is the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary have committed disbelief as they have attributed lordship to someone other than Allah. The Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, himself said to them, O Israelites, worship Allah alone. He is my Lord and your Lord. We are all his servants. Whoever ascribes anything as a partner to Allah, then Allah will not allow them to ever enter paradise, and their place will be the fire of hell. They will have no one to help or assist them before Allah and no one to save them from the punishment that awaits them. Almeida 72 for colon 172, the Messiah would never disdain from being a servant to God, nor would the closest angels. Those who disdain from worshipping him, and act arrogantly. Jesus, son of Mary, will never be proud and reject being a servant of Allah. The close angels who do not go against Allah's instruction, and who do as they are instructed will also never disregard being Allah's servants. How, then, do you take Jesus as a god? How do the idolaters take angels as gods? If anyone rejects worshipping Allah and turns away from it, then he will gather all of them before him on the day of rising and will recompense each one with what they deserve. Anissa 172 7. Jesus proclaims his subordination to God New Testament Dot my father is greater than I. John 14 verse 28 Quran 5 colon 116 And when God said, O Jesus, son of Mary, did you say to the people, Take me and my mother as two gods besides God? He said, Glory to you. It is not for me to say what I had no right to say. Remember that Allah will address Jesus son of Mary, peace be with him, on the day of rising and ask him whether he told people to worship him and his mother besides Allah. Jesus will reply, declaring Allah's purity. It was not right for me to tell them anything but the truth. If I had said that you would know it, because nothing is hidden from you. You know what I keep hidden within myself, but I do not know what is with you. You are the only one who knows everything that is hidden and everything that is apparent. Almeida 116 8. Jesus and His Disciples Then Jesus said to His disciples, Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny himself, and take up his cross and follow me. Matt 16 24 5 colon 112 And when the disciples said, O Jesus, son of Mary, is your Lord able to send down to us a table from the sky? Remember when the disciples said, Can you call on your Lord to send down a table from the sky? Jesus, peace be upon him, responded to them by telling them to be mindful of Allah and not to ask for such a thing, as it may prove Tob a trial for them. He said to them, Place your trust in your Lord in seeking provision, if you are truly believers. Almeida 112 9. Jesus the Messenger of God New Testament. Dot no messenger is greater than the one who sent him. John 13 verse 16. Quran. 349. 
a messenger to the children of Israel. Allah will make him a messenger to the Israelites, instructing him to say to them, I am Allah's messenger to you. I have brought to you a sign indicating my prophethood. I will make the shape of a bird using clay, then I will breathe into it, and it will become a living bird by Allah's permission. I will cure the one who is born blind, so that he will be able to see, and the leper who will recover from his illness, and I will bring the dead to life. I will do all of this with Allah's permission. I will tell you about what you consume and what you hide in your homes. In all of these extraordinary things that I mentioned to you, which human beings cannot do, is a clear sign that I am Allah's messenger to you, if you wish to have faith and to accept the proof. Imran 49 10 Jesus the Prophet of God New Testament Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor except in his hometown and in his own household. Matt 13.57 1930. He has given me the scripture and has made me a prophet. Jesus, peace be upon him, said, Lamb the servant of Allah. He gave me the gospel and made me one of his prophets. Miriam 30. 11. Jesus the servant of God. New Testament. Truly, I say to you, a servant is not greater than his master. John 13, verse 16. Behold, my servant whom I have chosen. Matt 12, 18. Quran. 1930, he said, I am God's servant. Jesus, peace be upon him, said, Lamb the servant of Allah. He gave me the gospel and made me one of his prophets. Miriam 30. 12 His death and crucifixion. New Testament. There they crucified him, and with him two others, one on each side and Jesus in the middle. John 19, verse 18. Quran. 4 colon 157. They did not kill him nor did they crucify him, but it appeared to them that they did. I cursed them because they proudly, but falsely, said, We killed the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, the messenger of Allah. They did not kill him as they claimed, nor did they crucify him, but they killed and crucified a man whom Allah made to resemble Jesus, so they thought the person who was killed was Jesus. Those Jews who claim to have killed him and those Christians who surrendered him over to them are in doubt and confusion regarding the matter. They have no knowledge but make guesses that are of no worth against the truth. Truly, they did not kill Jesus nor crucify him. Instead, Allah saved Jesus from their plot and raised him in body and spirit to himself. Allah is mighty in his dominion and nothing can overpower him. He is wise in his planning, decisions and laws. Anisa 157-158 13 Jesus proclaimed that the only one to be worshipped is God. New Testament You shall worship the Lord your God, and him only you shall serve. Luke 4 verse 8 Quran 5 colon 117 I have not said to them other than what you commanded me to say, that You shall worship God, my Lord and your Lord. Jesus will say to his Lord, I only told people what you instructed me to tell them to worship you alone. For as long as I remained amongst them I watched over what they were saying. When my term ended and I was raised to the sky alive, you, O Lord, were watching their actions. You are a witness to everything and nothing is hidden from you, so you know what I said to them and what they said after me. Almida 117 14 Jesus proclaims that God is the only true God. New Testament And this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. John 17 verse 3. Quran. 5 colon 116. And when God said, O Jesus, son of Mary, did you say to the people, Take me and my mother as two gods besides God? He said, Glory to you. It is not for me to say what I had no right to say. Remember that Allah will address Jesus son of Mary, peace be with him, on the day of rising and ask him whether he told people to worship him and his mother besides Allah. Jesus will reply, declaring Allah's purity. It was not right for me to tell them anything but the truth. If I had said that you would know it, because nothing is hidden from you. You know what I keep hidden within myself, but I do not know what is with you. You are the only one who knows everything that is hidden and everything that is apparent. Almida 116 15 Jesus proclaims that his miracles are not his own work but are God-given.
Jesus said, When you have lifted up the Son of Man, then you will know that I am He and that I do nothing on my own. John 8 verse 28 349. With God's permission. Allah will make him a messenger to the Israelites, instructing him to say to them, I am Allah's messenger to you. I have brought to you a sign indicating my prophethood. I will make the shape of a bird using clay, then I will breathe into it, and it will become a living bird by Allah's permission. I will cure the one who is born blind, so that he will be able to see, and the leper who will recover from his illness, and I will bring the dead to life. I will do all of this with Allah's permission. I will tell you about what you consume and what you hide in your homes. In all of these extraordinary things that I mentioned to you, which human beings cannot do, is a clear sign that I am Allah's messenger to you, if you wish to have faith and to accept the proof. Ali Imran 49 16 Jesus Healing the Blind and the Leper Jesus reached out his hand and touched the man. He said, Be clean! Immediately he was cleansed of his leprosy. Matt 8 3 Jesus had compassion on them and touched their eyes. Immediately they received their sight and followed him. Matt 20 34 Quran 349 I heal the blind and the leper. I will cure the one who was born blind, so that he will be able to see, and the leper who will recover from his illness. Ali Imran 49 17 Raising the Dead New Testament. Jesus called in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The dead man came out, his hands and feet wrapped with strips of linen, and a cloth around his face. John 11 verses 43 to 44. Quran. 349. And bring the dead back to life with God's permission. And I will bring the dead to life. I will do all of this with Allah's permission. Ali Imran 49. After having had a look at the above verses from the Bible, as well as the equivalent verses from the Quran, it can be said that the biblical Jesus is more in harmony with the portrayal of Jesus in the Quran than with the divine Jesus advocated by the Church. When the Quran describes Jesus as a prophet of God, a messenger of God and also as the servant of God, this accurately matches the biblical verses above which confirm the same truth. In contrast, the Church portrays Jesus as God on earth and proclaims Jesus and God as one. To the Quran confirms the subordination of Jesus to God. This is in total harmony with the words of Jesus in the Bible. My Father is greater than I. In contrast, by preaching the doctrine of the Trinity, which does not exist in the Bible nor was ever taught by Jesus, which states that Jesus, God, and the Holy Spirit are all equal. The Church violates the very own words of Jesus regarding his subordination to God. 3. The Quran states that God is the only true God and that God is the only one to be worshipped. This matches the same truth in the words of Jesus in the Bible where he spoke of God as the only true God. You, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. In contrast, the church teaches its audience to pray in the name of the Lord Jesus, who is also God. For the Quran states that Jesus did nothing of his own and that all power given to him was God-given. The same truth is spoken by Jesus in the biblical verses above. In contrast, the church teaches that Jesus raised the dead and healed the sick because of his divine nature. To conclude, it would not be totally inaccurate to state that those who believe in Jesus, and who wish to follow his true message, have a better chance of acquiring the true picture by reading about Jesus in the Quran, rather than by attending church. For it is the Quran which preserves the true identity of Jesus, while it has been badly manipulated and altered by the church.